This FAC was prepared for the linear and switching circuits unit of the electronics combined framework at Bournemouth University. It's one of three related facts covering the analysis of a simple JFET amplifier circuit. The first part covered the DC analysis of the circuit to find the quiescent operating point, and in particular, the DC bias voltage on the gate and the corresponding DC drain current. The objective for this part is to derive the transistor model. With this information, we can then go on in part three to find the amplifier gains, input and output impedances, and output voltage. This is the circuit example we'll analyze. The JFET parameters are the saturation drain current, IDSS, which is 12 milliamps in this case, and the pinch-off voltage, VP, which is minus 4 volts. This slide shows the results of the DC analysis we did in part 1. The bias on the gate is minus 2.72 volts, which produces a DC drain current of 1.2 milliamps. The potential gradient formed by the drain current gives a drain voltage of 16 volts and a source voltage of 2.72 volts with 0 volts on the gate. This is the JFET transfer characteristic which describes the effect of the input gate voltage on the output drain current. It's a nonlinear square law graph as we can see from the equation where the drain current ID depends upon the square of the gate voltage, VGS. However, if we know the quiescent or the DC bias gate voltage, VGSQ, and the signal we want to amplify doesn't vary too much about this point, we can assume that the relationship between the drain current and the gate voltage is linear and is described by the transconductance, GM, which is the ratio of signal drain current to signal gate voltage. Unfortunately, GM depends upon the DC operating point VGSQ. We can measure GM as the slope of the transfer characteristic or by differentiating the equation to obtain this result where we can see that GM does indeed depend upon VGS which we label as VGSQ to emphasize that we want to calculate the JFET model at a particular DC operating point Q. For the example problem, we have a saturation drain current of 12 milliamps, a pinch off of minus 4 volts, and our DC analysis has shown that the circuit will operate with a DC bias of minus 2.72 volts on the gate. Substituting these values gives us the result that the transconductance is 1.9 milliamps of drain current per volt of gate signal, using either a calculator or a MATLAB. Incidentally, we could have got the same result by taking the tangent of the characteristic at VGSQ equals minus 2.72 volts, here measured as around 5 milliamps over 2.63 volts. This, then, is the JFET model we will be using for the hand calculation analysis of linear circuits. We will simply replace the transistor in the circuit by a current source connected between the source and drain terminals of the circuit, which in this case will output a current of 1.9 milliamps per volt of signal applied between the gate and the source terminals. The resistance RDS in the model represents the slope of the JFET output characteristic of drain current against drain voltage. The slope is not absolutely flat, as the drain current does depend a bit on the drain voltage, as well as to the applied gate signal. However, the ratio of drain voltage to changes in drain current gives an effective resistance normally in the tens of kilohms range, and so it can normally be fairly safely ignored if we don't know its actual value. Now we have our transistor model, we can now continue to the final part of the analysis, which is to substitute the model into the circuit and solve for the signal gains and impedances. Here's the check slide. Remember, our objective here is to obtain the model of the JFET to use in the analysis by hand calculation of our simple self-bias amplifier circuit. 
Try one for yourself using these values and hopefully you should obtain the result shown at the bottom of the slide. Good luck. Thank you.